Birds fly south for the winter But she ran to the west side And though much was stolen Much still abides And I know she'd rather keep her distance But it's time All right, y'all know I'll be having to adjust the light. <laughs> so, hi society. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Siobhan Michelle. And um, I my channel is all about lifestyle in general. So please don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. I would love for you to subscribe and join our society because I mean like we support over here. Like that's just what we do. So if you don't know, <clears throat> I'm a licensed esthetician here in the state of North Carolina. So um, yeah, I just like to kind of like help others because I know when I first started out, I had no clue where to start. I had no clue where to look. I had no clue just about, about information in general. I had so many questions. I was piecing together just like you are on YouTube. I was on YouTube piecing together things. Um, even before I went to school for uh, to be an esthetician because you want to research you want to inquire to even see if this is something you want to do so on and so forth so just know I was just like you before I got to this point um, so yeah so you can tell by the title we are going to be talking about some sunscreens I suggest for all skins of course because they are doable for you to be able to use them but specifically sunscreens um for black skin or uh brown skin or colored skin whatever you would like to call it as you guys can tell i'm a little excited today but this is just something i love every time i get to talk about anything dealing with the skin i'm a kid in a candy store and you should be too especially if it's going to be something that you make your career now these i particularly there are many others out there but let me just let you know these I have very um personal experience with because I have either used them personally for myself or on my clients so I will only talk about the ones that I have experience with of course you see me looking down because I have notes on my phone today um just to kind of keep me on track because I can't get off track y'all know I want to give y'all so much information that I just run on and on and on and on and on <laughs> so let's just first talk about sunscreens in general why you need them a lot of people go without them I know that we did not come up on I know a lot of us didn't um, come up on knowing why we really need sunscreen why is it beneficial like what's really the point <laughs> like people think it's just something that you can go without in your skincare routine and I'm here to tell you <laughs> You have to have sunscreen. No matter what you do, make sure you are putting on sunscreen. Even if it's cloudy, rainy, no sun at all. Even if the season has changed and it's a winter time. And even if you live in doggone Alaska, put on your sunscreen, sis. You need sunscreen that is broad spectrum. Particularly because if it's just broad spectrum sunscreen, it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. You didn't waste your money on a product. Um, but... Broad spectrum will mean that it is protecting you against UVA and UVB rays, um, which is broad spectrum, exactly what that means. One of the things is because it will allow you to um, kind of not necessarily prevent you from aging because it's just going to happen. <laughs> it's human nature. But it is very anti-aging. It's going to slow down that process. You want something that's going to kind of help prevent fine lines, prevent wrinkles, um, prevent melasma, prevent um, sun damage. So to avoid that or to just kind of help combat that all together and kind of you know you see people and you're like oh my god they don't age they age but they are doing the proper thing for their self-care to kind of give the illusion that they're not aging and so if that is something that you want to do definitely definitely irregardless wear sunscreen every single day it will keep your youthful glow on your skin it will again if you are someone of color specifically we get a lot of hyperpigmentation um, we may not get a lot of sun damage because of the level of uh, skin we have on the Fitzpatrick scale, but we do get a lot of hyperpigmentation and sometimes melasma as well. So if that is the case, these are the sunscreens that will really help with um, our skin type. Protect your skin. It's the only skin we have. We don't have other skin. We can't borrow nobody's skin. 
we don't get to, to to rent skin this is just this is it this is all we got the first brand that i'm talking about so two of them i have with me here the other one the other three i don't have with me because they're actually at the spot and as you can see i'm recording here at home but the content must go on don't stop your content so I will definitely kind of like put the ones that I don't have here on the screen somewhere or I probably would do like a screen record or something like that. So that way you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So my very first one that I suggest for women of color um, is black girl sunscreen. Now, someone suggested this to me. This was about... I don't know this was months ago i know and i just hadn't gotten around to use it for myself this was suggested to me like personally to use on my skin not necessarily for my clients because i have one for them but when i tell y'all i got this freaking sunscreen and i have been in love ever since i actually need to go back and get me some more because i use mine every single day and i've had this now for maybe mm, two months or something like that um but you can get it from target you can get it from this is what it looks like i'll actually even show you because the focus on here is going to be pretty crappy um so i'll just do a cutaway and show you guys exactly what it looks like a little better um but this sunscreen is like amazing like this is something we needed like the guys just opened up and it was like oh like this sunscreen is so amazing it has no white cast um, and that's the issue that, you know, a lot of sunscreens have is a white cast. It, it looks even, <clears throat> it looks even uneven when it goes to put your makeup on because as you know, you put on your sunscreen before you apply your makeup. And so you want to start with a good base. And this is one of those sunscreens for personal care, but it also will be good for your clients as well, um, <clears throat> for a good base one thing i love about it is it's moisturizing it says it on here moisturizing sunscreen lotion for face and body you can use this on your body again i said make sure it says broad spectrum and it does on this one um it needs your sunscreen all your sunscreen needs to be so know this for every sunscreen you pick up needs to be broad spectrum and it needs to say spf 30 at least that's the minimum it needs to say spf 30 at the minimum it could be 40 it could be 45 but it needs to at least say 30 because then it is actually protecting you otherwise it's a waste There's one thing i love about this sunscreen it's infused with jojoba and avocados um which you know is very good for our skin it's water resistant um i do highly suggest you guys pick up um if you don't like any of the ones i suggest but i do highly suggest you guys look for a sunscreen not only spf 30 and broad spectrum but water resistant because it is going to last if you are like now it still is summer we're coming to an end of summer but a lot of places we are like where i live in north carolina it'll be warm for a while you know we don't go right into like a cold season um it's very late for us so if you live in a state like that you definitely want something that's water resistant so that it can just kind of stay uh protecting you and it doesn't wash off or rinse off while you're at the beach or water park or pool or wherever you know rain anything really you want it to be water resistant for sure um and then this one lasts up to 80 minutes so you definitely want to reapply if you didn't know that you have to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day um depending on how many hours though you're outside depends on how much you need to apply sunscreen now if you're going say you in the morning you apply your sunscreen for the day and it's more of a I'm running errands day and say you spend an hour, you know what I'm saying, or two hours at max out in and out, you know, your car going into the store to um, run your errands. I would only apply it once and then I would be in the house after that. So I wouldn't apply it again. But if you are going to be outside all day, um, different events, you're going to different places. It's more of an hour long, like I said, a, um, hours long or day long thing. Definitely re reapply. And if you guys would like to see my tips on how you can reapply if you have on makeup, how you can reapply sunscreen over that, definitely let me know in the comments because I can make a whole other video or segment about that for sure because there are some pretty good ways to reapply i always get that question of how do i actually reapply like do i gotta wash my face completely off reapply by makeup and then apply sunscreen no you don't have to do that you literally can 
apply it over it but it's a particular way you have to do it it's kind of a life hack <laughs> but yeah so let me know if you want me to make that video i will going back to the benefits of this one though this one is ultra sheer like i said no white residue and it's fragrance free it is definitely fragrance free you do not want a sunscreen that has fragrance like you just don't especially if you have sensitive skin i mean skin period you don't really want a lot of fragrance in your skincare um it can just you can get adverse reactions with fragrance and it's just better not to even deal with it i will show you guys a little bit of the consistency so this is what it looks like very moisturizing but it's not thick so it is very honest on here because it is sheer you guys but it is moisturizing at the same time and i promise you that's because of the jojoba and the avocado look at that it's super moisturizing you can kind of even see the difference on my skin i hope it kind of can pick up on the camera like i can see it but i don't know if the camera can really pick it up but it, look how it melts into your skin that's one of the reasons i love this freaking sunscreen because it just melts into my skin and i just love that for us I love that for us black girl sunscreen, black girl magic. So the second sunscreen I suggest it that I don't have with me, but I will put up here or like I said, do like a screen record. Um, it's called Biosense Squalene and Zinc Sheer um, <clears throat> Sunscreen. This, this sunscreen is so amazing. It is sheer. It's very sheer. Um, but the only thing with this one, so like I said, I would get specific with skincare, is the BioSense one is a little more, okay, so see this one that I rubbed in, the, the Black Girl sunscreen, you can see that it's all rubbed in, it's all melted in. It doesn't leave you greasy, like there's no, you can't feel it, but you can pretty much see it. Is no kind of like residue afterwards the only thing with this one is it's a little bit more moisturizing it's a little bit more greasy so it's not optimal I would say for oily skin types I wouldn't probably suggest the bio since if your skin is excessively oily if you have combo skin I would say still go for it because it will work my skin is kind of combo it's it's drier during like the colder months and then it's more combination during um the warmer months so mine is more dry combo so even if you have combo skin this one works because it definitely worked for me um this one works very good on clients like i said probably not the best for your oily ones um even though it is sheer they may not like the because what i noticed with people with oily skin even though something is moisturizing and they actually need moisture or hydration um because every skin type does no matter what you feel um, in terms of how much oil you're producing because 9 out of 10 if you super oily is because your skin doesn't you're not putting enough oil on it um, but I noticed that oily skin types don't necessarily like to feel any more oil on their skin um, so using products that kind of mattify that tends to be a lot better or they feel it's working a lot better with oily skin types so if you have oily skin types I would definitely if you have an oily skin type I would definitely say um, this one may not be at the top of your list but love it love the packaging of it it is so pretty <laughs> and it, it definitely does what it says it does so the third one i have and this is my favorite i would say spa sunscreen so this one is my favorite one for the clients all my clients literally has worked on every skin type that i have had it's the best one <laughs> i mean the creme de la creme this one is it circadia light day sunscreen this one like i said is for all skin types it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily greasy it doesn't um feel heavy it doesn't feel dry it's not mattifying for someone with like drier skin who's worried about that um it's very sheer coverage still but very moisturizing and i think what makes for a good sunscreen with all of these that you're going to find that they're not only sheer but they're very moisturizing I mean because sunscreen is kind of a base after like your primer your moisturizer your sunscreen then you go on with makeup if you're someone who's wearing makeup you don't want a base that's like chalk <laughs> because some sunscreen can be just straight white chalk and that's not what we're looking for in a sunscreen because it literally it just doesn't 
it doesn't give what it's supposed to give so you want your sunscreen to be like i said broad spectrum you want it to be something that's also sheer and moisturizing at the same time but not overly moisturizing if you get what i'm saying it's it's a thin line it's a thin line like we we just gotta go through too much in the beauty world we just really do it's gonna be the one that i say is at the top of my list the black girl sunscreen is at the top of my list personally for personal care for yourself and the one that i i suggest you suggest to your clients for home care but in terms of using with your facials um for a non-tinted moisture i mean non-tinted sunscreen circadia light day is the best one love the way it feels i wish i had it here but like i said i'll show you it um on the screen i wish i had it here to show you but the consistency is very similar to the black girl sunscreen on how it actually feels not extra greasy it goes on it just is smooth it also melts into the skin it is it doesn't leave a white cast so definitely pick up circadia um light day sunscreen and all of the sunscreens that i'm suggesting in this video they will be in the links below so definitely check them out one thing i always do is put my sunscreen on i make sure i properly cleanse and i'm going to put on my sunscreen i don't care what's going on i could be going to the grocery store really quick i'm putting on my sunscreen <laughs> i'm trying to really keep my face looking how it's looking <laughs> because people never know my age and they always shocked and i'm glad i want you to be shocked i don't want you to just be like oh yeah you 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 no mm -mm. you can't guess it you can't guess me don't do me the next sunscreen that i have that i'm absolutely loving for more of my oily and combination skin because i was gonna get to y'all i know that i said the other one wasn't great for oily skin but we have one that will be one that probably will work better for you and that you would like is the super goop matte sunscreen this one is so great definitely amazing for more of the oily combination skin or acneic skin type um but it does still work for all skin types but this one has a more matte finish um it is still moisturizing um, but a lighter moisturizing it is still broad spectrum it is still enough enough spf in there it is still um sheer it is still very um I would say it's still very light enough to where it won't give you a bad base or anything like that but it doesn't leave a white cast all of these i love because they don't leave a white cast and y'all know that white cast is just not cute because like who want to look like a ghost i mean lighter skin darker skin who would want to look like a ghost i wouldn't care what skin type you are you know what color you are it's just not cute okay so the super group one definitely is amazing so the last sunscreen i have on my list and the reason why it's the last one is for a particular reason this was my i would say my intro to sunscreen when i realized that i needed to be wearing sunscreen when i first learned really about my skin when i really got into a heavy i would say or a strict consistent skincare regimen this is the sunscreen i started out with because it was just i really didn't know anything about it only thing i knew was i needed spf 30 at least that's what i do so this one i found in my local walgreens i think or walmart it was one of the two when i first picked this up or it might have been cvs one of the two and um i don't necessarily love this one for our skin type it will definitely work great for lighter skins and it's definitely a good sunscreen it's broad spectrum like i said it's at least spf 30 actually it is spf 45 <laughs> it is spf 45 it is still sheer um it doesn't feel heavy it's still moisturizing it's still good for all skin types this one does work for all skin types oily dry combination you know normal skin types it works but it has a white cast now the reason i'm still putting this on the list because this is going to be the most affordable one and the most easiest one probably for someone to just go pick up right now and this one is the neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch sunscreen and it's lightweight it's a clean feel like i said and this one also is water resistant this is what i started out with um and i used to use this every day but i hated the white cast but younger me didn't know there was anything i could actually do about the white cast but i have a hack for you so this is why i added to the list the way that you so even your sunscreen now that you're using if you are have a sunscreen and you just don't have 
the money or you just don't want to go and get a new sunscreen that I um, listed here or anyone that you're interested in and say you have something like this but it's just not completely working still good sunscreen but not completely working in terms of like the base and the white cast and stuff like that um, there's a hack to where you can blend this so get your foundation or your tinted moisturizer. If you already have a tinted moisturizer, I ran out of mine and can't find the um, the other one I have. I I use um, mm, what is it the Laurier Mercier? I think I have the Laurier Mercier tinted moisturizer. Oh my God, y'all, that moist that tinted moisturizer from Laurier Mercier. If I'm saying it right, because I could be butchering it. I'm sorry. It's so good, and I used that for years. Actually, my mom actually introduced me to that one. And that one works great. So if you have something very light like that, you can mix it with this. But you can also, because everybody generally has, um, mine is dirty. I use it all the time. I'm sorry. But everyone always has like their foundation. Not a lot of people have tinted moisturizer. That's kind of like an extra thing. So let me show you. The Neutrogena one, like I said, is 45 SPF. This one is still Ultra Sheer. This one is still um, Broad Spectrum. This one definitely is water resistant and it still will work as a great sunscreen and you can still use this one also on your face and body. But the thing about it is it leaves a white cast. So for your base, what I would do is take the tinted moisturizer or take a little bit of your foundation and you're going to put it on there. You're not going to put it as a step by step thing, meaning you're not going to do your care as you know cleanser toner exfoliator um primer moisturizer then your sunscreen then the foundation because it won't uh you want to do it while it's still wet and blendable if that makes any sense so right now while we still have it kind of creamy and blendable with each other you just add in a little Okay, that's better. You can really see it. Add a little bit of your tinted moisturizer and foundation. And you're going to mix it in together while it's still like this to get rid of that white cast. So let's do that. So it's going to look like this at first. But you're going to keep blending it. And I have like a lot because I want you to be able to tell. I don't want it to be so small that you can't see. So you're going to start to see it blend a lot better. So let's just keep blending it in and keep blending it until you don't see your white cast anymore and see you can tell the difference so you see the white cast from the sunscreen a little bit on my hand keep blending it and this is what you would be doing on your face by the way guys I'm just doing it on my hand so you can see um, because I already have on like some foundation on my face so and you're gonna keep blending it I'm just blending it out really good by the way, your hands are like the best blender ever. I love makeup brushes and I love beauty blenders, but it's nothing like blending stuff out with your fingers because for me, it like really melts with, you know, your skin when I use my fingers. So anything I use, I always go back in with my fingers. Now look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look how moisturizing it is at the same time too. That's the moisture from the sunscreen because the foundation is matte. So that's why it works so great. So that glow you see is from this freaking sunscreen <laughs> so it's sheer but still moisturizing so like i said that neutrogena sunscreen is amazing but look at that y'all just look at the finish it's so hydrated or moisturized and it's so even and blended very well and you don't my hand does not look white it doesn't look like it has a white cast it literally just looked like i'm even on my hands like i don't have an uneven skin tone and I have like a little bit of glow. How amazing. See the difference? This is without the mix of the foundation and the sunscreen. And this is with it. You see the difference? So this sunscreen is amazing. But those are the type of sunscreens that you will have to use that beauty hack with. So just blend it. Just take your tinted moisturizer like I said. Or take your a little bit of your foundation. If it's a foundation, use very little like I did. Those two small pumps. If it's a tinted moisturizer, you can use a little bit more because it's not going to blend as well if you don't use a little bit more tinted moisturizer. So definitely take that hack and take your sunscreen that you have right now in your house if you don't want to go buy one. And look at the type of finish you'll get. So yes, <laughs> 
Y'all know I'm always giving y'all some good information, some good tips, dropping gems. That was my gem in this video. That little life hack with what you can do with that sunscreen right then and there without even going out springing to buy a whole new sunscreen without the white cast. Just go ahead and combat that white cast with some foundation or tinted moisturizer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. I have so much more to come. Definitely subscribe. Definitely keep on watching. Tell a friend because I know this will be helpful for someone else. Like, comment. I love for you guys to comment because I like the feedback that you guys give because I, it just helps me know what you would like to see or something that you have a question about that I just haven't answered yet. I have no problem creating content for it. You guys know this is something I love to do. So I hope to see you he around here like for a long term. And again, thank you for watching. See you next time. I got foundation all on my finger. <laughs> but see you guys next time. Bye bye.